Hey everyone and welcome back to the GT Online Weekly Update video. Quick about it this week, we have got a new vehicle for the price drive challenge and it is the Comet S2. One of the latest vehicles from the recent DLC, so pretty good that being added as the free price rate car. And the challenge for this week is, you know, kind of tricky. You need to come in the first place for 5 days in a row. Also, this is in the Pursuit series category. I mean, it's actually fairly simple if you follow my methods. If not, it's gonna be really, you know, tiresome for you guys. So make sure to check out that video at the top as well as at the end of the video. Also we got new vehicles for the test driving as well. You can check it out if you are interested. Moving on to the casino, we have got a new vehicle for the podium as well. It is the Ubuma Zion Classic. I mean, I'm personally not a huge fan of this car. If you guys are, then go ahead and try out your luck in the casino podium lucky wheel spin. This is good for, you know, collector cars or probably even for the tuner cars. So I leave it to you guys. I mean. If you guys are a fan of it, try out your luck. If not, check out this video and try to win it for free. I think it costs about half a million dollars, I think. Yeah, it's not worth it in my opinion. So that's with that. Moving on to the discounts that's going on for this week. We have the Grotty Cheetah Classic on discount. Then we also have the Bravado Buffalo STX on discount. I mean, if you guys get the Imani Tech and the Armor upgrade on this, then this is going to be a good counter for the Mark IIs and also the Griefers out there. So just letting you all know then we also have the declassic tulip on discount this is a four door muzzle car if you are interested in those and then we have the tula on discount this vehicle actually has a vtol feature i mean it can take off vertically as well as it can land on water so it has good features in it along with that we also have the hydra on discount i mean if you guys still want it you can get it for 2.5 million dollars or you can skip this and get any other vehicles which you probably will use. I actually got it like way back in the day. And then moving on, we also have a few more discounts going on with all of these four aircrafts. I mean, personal preferences, but still my suggestion would be to skip the Sea Sparrow because, you know, just get the normal version, which you probably will also be using for the grinding purposes of Kayo Perico and you can store it in the Kosatka as well. The Sea Breeze, well, you can land it on water, so personal preferences if you guys want it get it if not skip it then there's the alpha z1 i personally would say skip this aircraft because the landing gear is pathetic i mean you'll probably be crashing almost all the times so when you try to land this aircraft and then there's the ultralight i mean this is totally personal preferences so i'll just skip it for now and finally we also have the Valum five seater on discount i mean i really don't know why anyone would want to even get this thing I'm pretty sure like everyone's fed up of this aircraft trying to fly it during the Kaiperico heist missions. <laughs> Moving on to the property discounts, we have the hangars on discount once again. So if you guys are wanting to get the hangars, I mean if you have the aircrafts or the helicopters that you wanted to store or modify or customize, then getting the hangar is good for you. But if it's for the businesses, then I would say, you know, stay clear of it. Also, there's you know, three of these upgrades that are on discount, not the visual upgrades like the hangar style, lighting or the floor graphics. It's the office furniture, living quarters and the workshop. So these will actually come in handy for you guys. So, you know, instead of wasting on visual upgrades, these are the ones which probably might, you know, you'll probably be using except the office furniture one. And once again, make sure to spend money wisely if you're short on cash. Moving on to the time trials, we have the normal time trials way up at the north which is near the Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness with a part time of 1 minute 10 seconds. This is actually a you know, tricky one, I mean it's gonna take you a lot of tries to complete it so good luck to you guys, I mean it is gonna be a good patience tester. And then for the RC time trials we have it at the Davis Quads with a part time of 1 minute 32 seconds, pretty much repeated one so yeah. Moving on to the bonuses, we have triple money bonus going on the air races. All of the air races just like the week before, you know, last week. So it's basically, you know, kind of repeated ones. Yeah, nothing too new or anything. Nonetheless, you can try out these races completely solo if you're interested. And along with that, we also have double money bonus going on the hunting pack remix adversary modes. This too, like I said earlier, it is repeated once so, and you need four players for this. And then moving on, we also have the short trips on double money. I mean, these are the new latest missions added into the game where you play as Lamar and Franklin. So, I mean, you need another player to try it out. 
the good thing is that rockstar kind of changed certain things where you had to complete the contracts earlier i mean now you can just go to the pause menu and start them up with another player so that's actually a good thing so give it a try and uh, also make money whilst doing it and just like i said you know other few activities are also repeating one of that is the flight school which is on double money for this week I and mean, like i had explained earlier on these are pretty much very easy once you get a hang of them if you have not completed them then give it a try it also makes you you know improve your flying skills so so overall it's actually like a win-win situation you'll also be making upwards of quarter of a million dollars completing these so on one side you'll be getting money on the other side you'll be becoming a better pilot yeah like i said a win-win situation and last but not the least the hangar business that is the air freight cargo is on triple money this week just like the week before last so yeah you know cutting it short this hangar is actually pretty good just to store the aircrafts but if you're going to be doing the business in order to make money it's going to be really pathetic for you guys i mean it really takes a long time and the payout you get for it is not worth it but if you're going to be doing it just for the fun or you know just for the sake of completing these you know trying out something new apart from the usual grinding then these are pretty fun if not i would say just skip this entirely and also make sure that you have like a minimum of four players when you decide to sell the products of this business because sometimes you know enemy npcs will spawn multiple aircrafts will spawn so you really need to have like a lot of friends helping you during the sales so be ready for that and make sure to invite your other friends during the sales so that kind of you know sums up the hangar business it's actually terrible that's why i never included in any of the business videos that's with that and uh, yeah those are all the activities that's going on for this week guys i mean just five more days to go for the expanded and enhanced edition i mean rockstar even kind of you know, dropped that name <laughs> so i really don't know hopefully tomorrow we might get dlc trailer i don't know if it's you know dlc or an upgrading kind of a trailer whatever it is Hopefully tomorrow we'll probably be getting that trailer. So yeah, looking forward to it. And also to this moment, we still don't know like what's up with the PC platform because literally till now, everything they have shared is just for the consoles and literally nothing about the PC platform. So yeah, it's kind of, you know, getting on my nerves at this point. Huh. But yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, this is going to be something for us PC players as well. And yeah, looking forward to it. In the meantime, do drop the video a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to stay tuned. Thank you all and have a good day.